Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you basically a guide on Warframe. So, I've been playing on PC and I've had to restart on it. This is on my Xbox account. But I'm going to basically tell you how to, basically all the beginner stuff. So, like the movement, movement mechanics. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the Plains of Eidolon just to show you. And, uh, yeah, because when I have been playing on my PC version, a lot of people, they're just running around. And it's kind of slower because... Now with Warframe, end game is like the best. The end game is the best where you just farm in. That's when you're gonna be making your platinum. That's when you're gonna be getting your accessories, your customization. Personally, I think end game is the best in Warframe. Like it is fun playing Warframe, just going through all the planets. But personally, I think the end game is best, getting all the prime parts and making platinum and everything. And I'm gonna make another platinum making platinum video in the future. I'm just gonna get to this beginner video. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go to Mars, and then now, cause that's where I am on my PC, and I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that will make it quicker and also help you improve. And uh, yeah, so when we get in, basically it's just gonna be jumping around mechanics. Now I recommend at the start you choose Volt. Now Volt is just really good, just because one he has his speed that he can use, and it's kind of powerful. His one is very powerful at the start. And you can mainly use that because your four isn't very good compared to your one at the start. So now let's get to the movement. So now with the movement, what you want to do is you want to crouch and then jump. So you do like this like bullet jump and you can do it in the air as well. What makes it very good. Now I recommend sliding. When you do it in the air, I recommend sliding before you hit the ground. Or you end up being like that. Like it will make you like do that stance compared to when you do slide. You can then you can still walk around. So you don't really stop here. So it makes you go a little bit quicker. So how you do it is you just crouch and then you jump. And you do like a bullet jump. Now you can make it go even further by sliding while I'm midair and aiming. So that will make it even um, better. So if you see here, I do it again. And you can go really far and it's really good mechanic. So you want to basically be doing that instead of just running around. Now unless like, you've got a vault speed, what's very good with speed, then you can do it. But I recommend still doing the bullet jump. So now basically, bullet why, why I recommend using the bullet jump is because it just basically gets you around a lot more quicker. Instead of just like sprinting around, so so now let's get over to the like planets and everything. So now with the planets, and it's very easy to be honest. It is really easy, like it's just it's just, it's just really easy basically. So now you don't, you don't have to worry about that that guy. That will be like end game. So basically, getting to Earth to Mars is very easy. I just recommend doing the bosses as well. What I will show you in a bit, but. Make sure you have good weapons and you do mod your characters for like health and so on. So I am going to get to the navigation in a minute. I don't know why I'm just standing here. So there we go. So now when I do get to navigation, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So this night wave intermission, you don't really have to worry about that at the moment because that is it's not really end game, but you kind of can go for it. And it's basically the season pass, basically. But you don't really want to go for like a lot of the higher stuff because that's like kind of hard. So now with Earth, you want to get to Venus first. That is the first thing. And all of them there, you have to do to actually do the boss on that junction to get to Venus. Now they're really easy. You just have to complete a quest, collect 20 mods, apply 4 mods. And I think it's upgraded a couple of mods, I believe. So now, when so the Mercury Junction is very easy. But I highly recommend doing this boss. So basically, with your characters, you have to get three parts, including the blueprint. But the blueprint you can buy just from the market. So you have to get a neuroptic system and chassis. So just farm out this boss until you get the rhino neuroptic chassis and systems. So it do, will take 12 hours to build, and you will need the parts, and you won't be able to build him yet until you do get to Phobos, where you unlock plastids. So yeah. So that's kind of the bad part, but you can unlock some other stuff, uh, but you can still use Vault to get around the map. So basically, again, with this, you have to do the Mercury Junction to get to Mercury. These are no bosses on Mercury at the moment, so I'm sorry about that. So now with Mercury, all you have to do is do this C map on the C level to get them the, what arts on Mercury to get to Mars. So yeah, all you have to do is complete a quest. Defeat 150 enemies on Earth or the Frontier Grenier. Collect 500 Rublo emissions on Earth. And complete the Susi mission on Mercury. 
Now again with Mars, you basically want to go to Phobos first because you can't get to Ceres yet until you go to Phobos because you have to defeat a boss on Phobos to get to the Ceres Junction. But I recommend doing the war mission before you get to Phobos because that's where you can get the Excalibur parts on on that planet on Mars. That's where you get Excalibur, and then on Phobos is where you get Mag. So now when you go, if you want to get the blueprints, all you have to do is go to Warframes, and if you go onto any character, so Ex Excalibur for example, what you're going to be wanting, or Rhino, here you see the blueprint. What costs? Well, thirty-five thousand costs seventy thousand for me because I got a fifty percent off. And it will be from the majority of the characters, unless some of them are in different stuff. So that's how you can get them. You can buy them with platinum, but you don't have to. You can grind every single one of these characters out. Every single one of these characters are unlocked for free if you just basically just have to grind it. Right, so now we have done that. Next video is going to be on Phobos and then further. So we've got to Mars. Basically, by the time you get to Mars, I want you to be able to just like build some stuff, upgrade your weapons, the farm farm on Mars, get the stuff on there. If you've got Phobos by then, then farm out Phobos, get the plastids. And there's also another weapon that you get is called the Boltor. I highly recommend getting that at because that is a really good weapon to use at a low rank. And then once if you get to Mastery 4, then get the Heck. The Heck is a really good shotgun, what we'll be talking about in the next video. So uh, yeah, if you guys did like this video, make sure you like, leave a like and subscribe. Very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, peace out guys. Yeah.